Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And today in history story is quite shocking and chilling. It's one you'd hear and you just feel, you know, just that shock in your heart about just how much crimes someone committed. Now, we're going back to the year 2020. And it was on this day in history that a killer known as the Golden State Killer actually um, confessed. He pleaded guilty to 12 murders and dozens of rapes. Now, this man, his name is Joseph D'Angelo Jr. He's a former police officer, and he committed these crimes in the 1970s and 1980s. Now, back then, Joseph D'Angelo um, raped about 50 women. Do you know what it means to rape 50 women? I don't. You don't? Uh, very good. <laughs> very happy you don't know what it means. <laughs> he raped 50 women and killed about 12 people, right? So um, this is a murder and, you know, just a crime situation that eluded the police for years and years, something of 1970s, 1980s. So the whole case, you know, reopened when the FBI said, you know what, let's really track this man down. We've been trying to do this for years. They put out a reward of $50,000 for anyone who had information that can lead to the capture of this man. The FBI went on to do that. The Sacramento District Attorney announced the creation of a tax force just to make sure that they identify the killer. I mean, they went all out to get to the bottom of the situation. And, um, yeah. This case got wide attention from the US. People were searching for the Golden State Killer. And months later, D'Angelo was arrested. And he actually said that he was motivated to commit those murders and to rape those women based on a, a, an influence beyond his control. According to him, he said he was driven by an internal force. This were his words. D'Angelo said, I didn't want to do those things. I destroyed their lives. Now I have to pay the price. You know, it was just a very weird situation that after so many years, it was in 2020, just last year, that he pleaded guilty. And this was, of course, in the height of the coronavirus pandemic. So they had to be social distancing in the hall. A former police officer. I mean, that's, that's really his story. Very chilling. Yeah, um, in, in the times when he also committed the, mur the murders, uh, it was also difficult for police to, uh, to uh, place all these crimes and, um, you know, um, well, accuse one person, basically, mm -hmm. uh, because it seemed like it was multiple crimes, you know, in different locations, um, you know, maybe by multiple suspects, you know, but eventually when they continued the investigation, they got to find out that it was the same person that had committed all these murders and all these um, uh, rapes. Um, another thing is, you know, he also claimed to have a multiple personality di uh, disorder, you know, and that uh, he had a different personality by a different name entirely, who also used to commit these crimes, you know, so some, sometimes it's person A doing the rape, sometimes it's person B doing the killing um, and all of that. Um, well, good thing that he was eventually caught. You know, and, as an um, old man, um, 70, 70, about 74 years old? Yeah, you know, well, that, that's, you know, in, in the system 74. that they run over there, it doesn't matter how old you are. If you're 100 years, you know, you, if an investigation from the 1960s still, the can, law can still catches catch up, up with yes. you, yeah. You know, as they um, get better investigative devices, as they get better um, forensic um, evidence concerning, you know, your murders. Um, maybe in the 70s, they, they couldn't investigate because it was forensic um, 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 technology They were limited then, at that time. You know, yes. wasn't yeah, as good as it is today. So... Um, best of luck to him. Um, he's currently still in jail. I think as uh, as at uh, February uh, 2021, he was still um, in uh, jail. I think yes, he was sentenced, or, you know, to life, life in prison without the possibility of parole. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. All right, all right. We're going back to the year 2003 to talk about a very famous actress, her name Catherine Hepburn. Um, she was known for many, many movies, and of course, won numerous awards. Um, um, who and then, of course, on this day in 2003, she passed on at the age of 96. Um, she was a four time Academy Award winner for the Best Actress and one of the greatest screen legends of Hollywood's golden era. She died of natural causes at the age of 96 in her home in Connecticut. Uh, she was born, of course, in a, into a well to do New England family, daughter of a prominent surgeon. Um, she, of course, uh, did uh, about 44 different movies and stage plays. Uh, she was awarded her third Oscar for starring in uh, uh, the movie A Lion in Winter in 1968. In 1999, the American Film Institute named Hepburn as the greatest female actress in the history of American cinema. Um, and of course, uh, when she died in uh, 2003, the lights on Broadway were dimmed for an hour to mark the passing of one of entertainment's brightest stars. 
and of course if you know your movies well enough then you should know of course uh, uh, some of the well movies from the 80s and the 60s uh, the lion in winter on a golden pond summertime little women woman of the year so many of them that she uh, starred in um, that i didn't watch <laughs> because i was obviously too too young to know anything about Catherine Hepburn, but she died on this day in the year 2003. So rest in peace to Catherine. Uh, I think Hepburn. one of the most impressive things that I you know, read about her was how the American Film Institute in 1999 named her the greatest female actress in the history of American cinema. Mm -hmm. I mean, what an honor. Yep. What an honor. Yep. All right, uh, that's all we have for you today in history, 2003, the death of Catherine Hepburn, and of course... Uh, in 2020. Something D'Angelo. Yes, D'Angelo Jr. Yep, um, who of course confessed to, uh, you know, killings and rapes of, you know, dozens of women in the year 2020. Stay with us. What happened in Kaduna State? A, sh a student was shot dead, and we're going getting into that conversation next. There is a rioting and a protest against uh, f a hike in tuition fees. We'll get into that conversation right after the short break. Stay with us.